You are on the Transparent FX Academy. I'm Nick, and I'm a top author on TradingView with over 250,000 reputation points. And what I love the most is sharing educational breakdowns that show you how you can be looking for the best trading opportunities in the market. So without further ado, let's go and see which is today's Forex pair that we need to break down. Today, I want to give you guys a full breakdown of the situation that currently we're having on US oil. Now, why do I want to speak about US oil? Because at the moment we have very interesting price action. So without further ado, let's go and see where we can be looking for the next potential opportunity on it. And as usual, I will be keeping this analysis as educational as possible. So first, we will be covering the technical aspect of this market. We will then go and see what we have from an order flow perspective by checking the commitment of traders, which is what hedge funds are currently doing in the market. And by the end of the video, by using the combination of our technical and our order flow analysis, we will be able to understand where we have the highest probability setup here for US oil. Now, starting from the monthly time frame, what we can see now here on the monthly, we have a market which has just provided a W formation. Now, generally speaking, after the creation of a W, what you expect is for the market to provide a correction. In fact, you would like to see the market provide a correction at least to the 0.32 of the Fibonacci taken on the impulse leg, but overall, you would like to see the market provide a correction to the neckline, which is the previous resistance, turn support here from a monthly perspective. But at least we would like to see the market provide a correction to the 0.32 of the Fibonacci taken on the impulse lag. And in this case, the impulse lag is from this low to this high, which gives us a 0.32 at this level. So clearly we have a first downside target from a monthly perspective, which is at this area that we do expect the market to provide a correction to before then possibly providing a rejection to the upside. We can also notice that this area is extremely strong supply for this market. In fact, from here, the market started this move to the downside again here tested and rejected. And currently we're testing this exact same supply from which there is definitely the possibility to see the market provide a rejection to the downside. Going down on the weekly time frame, what do we see now? Unfortunately, here on the weekly, we still have bullish structure. In fact, we can see how even though on the monthly, we would like to see this move to the downside. Currently on the weekly, we're facing previous resistance turn support and the market, in fact, is rejecting it to the upside. However, even though we can expect a little bit more continuation to the upside, we are about to face the supply that we have here from which we can start the move to the downside. Just a quick thing. For more educational breakdowns, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. If we go down on the daily time frame, what do we see now here on the daily time frame? We can see that at the moment the market has completed twice some quite interesting patterns. First of all, we had the creation of this overextended W formation. From here, I made a full breakdown explaining all the reasons for which from here we expected the market to provide this correction. And in fact, that is exactly what the market did. And then from here, I made another breakdown explaining all the reasons for which we expected the market to provide this move to the upside to complete the pattern at this neckline. And again, that is exactly what the market did. And by the way, I will link in the description this previous analysis so you can go and check it out for further reference and more free education. Now, at the moment here on the daily time frame, we can notice how the market has started providing this overextended W formation. And after an overextended W formation, as we have already previously seen on the monthly time frame, we do expect the market to provide a move to the downside, which combines with what we already want to see on the monthly and weekly timeframes. Now, if we go and see what we have from a COT perspective, so commitment of traders, which is what hedge funds are currently doing in the market. If we go and check out the data for the CAD, what we can see is that lately net positions have been increasing. Now, why are we checking the data for the CAD? Because if CAD and US oil correlate quite a, quite a lot. So by checking the COT data for the CAD, we can gain an insight on what we have on US oil. Now, what we have here from a net positioning perspective is that with the last report, net positions have been increased from 2.4K to 13.2K, 
it with a 5.7k longs getting added and 5k shorts getting closed, reaching 53.8k long positions and 40k shorts. If we look at the past, however, we can see how we went from having a very bearish net positioning with way more shorts than longs from an institutional perspective with 47k shorts and 25k longs, all the way up to having the positive net positioning. So overall, in the long term, we did have a, have a big increase. In the short term, we can see also a slight increase with the last reports, but let's not forget that we went from 16k to a 13k net positions. And anyway, this is already increased because actually we had 2.4k with the last report. So having this correction to the downside is very possible. And that would also lead to the buildup of some bearish momentum. And if that will happen, we definitely have the possibility to break the structure, which would trigger the continuation to the downside. So how we will be approaching this potential shorting opportunity on US oil with students. Now, as usual, we will be reactive and not predictive. The monthly, weekly and daily timeframes, those are the best timeframes from a directional perspective. But when it comes to confirmations and entries, the best timeframes are the 4-hour and the other intraday timeframes. So with students, what we will be doing is monitoring price action from a 4-hour perspective and lower during this move to the upside. And we will be waiting for the market to shift from a 4-hour and lower bullish market as we have right now to a 4-hour and lower bearish market. And only if the market will shift from an intraday bullish to an intraday bearish market, only at that point we will be adding US oil to our watch list with students. And as soon as the market will provide to us one of our valid entries, we will be taking a nice short with a good risk to reward and good probabilities at that point for the move to the downside and for the market to retrace at least to the 0.32 of the Fibonacci taken on the daily impulse. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that like button and comment below. Also, you can go and check out the mentorship program. The link is in the description. It's a very complete program. First, you learn all the rules of my rule-based strategies. Then you trade the strategies with me. In fact, every day you get a new daily market breakdown showing you how to apply the strategies with the entries, stops, and take profits. And you also get a daily Q&A session in which I answer all your questions. So it's a very complete program. I really suggest that you go and check it out. And I will see you in my next breakdown. Oh,